Welcome to the video for the DMARC setup guide. My name is Shazad Mirza and I'm the Director of Operations of the New York City Office for Global Cyber Alliance. And what we're going to do here is basically show you how to use the DMARC setup guide and some of the features and capabilities of the DMARC site. So first part here is, is that the website itself is dmarkguide.globalcyberalliance.org and that will bring you to this page that you're viewing right now. And what you're going to start off with is entering the domain for the email domain that you wish to focus on when you're starting this setup guide. Now the important thing is to note is that this text box here, when you're putting in your domain, it is going to be the email domain. Not necessarily your web domain because your email domain and your web domain could potentially be different. So for example, an email address here at Global Cyber Alliance is smirza at globalcyberalliance.org, which happens to be the same as the website, but this is what we're looking for. Now, the thing is, is that we're not actually looking for the full email address. We just want the email domain. And the email domain is everything that's after the at symbol in your email address. So in this case, we'll go ahead and remove the first part and just leave the actual email domain. Now, the thing is with this guide is, is that before you actually do use it, it is strongly recommended that when you're, if you're using Google G Suite or Office 365, to actually go ahead and use their resources first. And the main reason for that is they have specific configurations when it comes to uh, DKIM, especially in terms of implementation of DMARC. So those two neat things need to be set up. Then it's always good to come back and then use this guide to one check to make sure that SPF and DKIM are functional and then use this guide to do the remainder in, in terms of the implementation of DMARC itself. So we'll focus on globalcyberalliance.org for at this point in time. So at this point now we just click on submit. When we click on submit, this will give you the results for your domain that you are looking for. So obviously if it has a green check, that means that those protocols do exist. If it has a red X, that means it does not exist. Now in this case, you can see SPF and DMARC art records do exist, and the record for DKIM actually exists as well. Now, in order to do a validation of DKIM, you do need to supply some additional information in order to find the appropriate record for your, uh, for your public DNS DKIM record. So now if you look towards the bottom here, since we couldn't find it in this case, that means that in our database, we don't know what the selector was or what the specific portion that we need in order to determine and find that DKIM re, uh, record. So you can do it in one of two ways. One way is that you can go ahead and put in a selector if you're familiar with it. Now the selector is the unique part of the DKIM. If you're not sure what it is, then what you could also do is you can provide your email address and then email will be sent to you in which you reply back to that email and then this page will automatically update to per, de, determining whether you have DKIM or not. If you do not, the X will remain. If you do, it will switch to green and supply you with the selector information. So for example, for Global Cyber Alliance, the record happens to be GCA. So I'll put GCA, press submit, and now as you can see that the green check changed and we have DKIM implemented on our environment. Now, in order to continue on, what you can, you can, even though you still have the green checks for each one, you can still click on any one of these items, any one of these areas, and continue on with the actual setup process. You could do, main reason for this could be that maybe you make one, want to make some modification. You just want to go through the tutorial again just to review what each parts are. So all you have to do is click on the appropriate one and then click on next and then the rest of the tutorial will continue. Now there are three other videos which will go through each one of these parts and go into further detail on how each one of these work.